Here's a cheery question. What medical condition claims more lives than any other? There are all too many that spring to mind. Diseases and disorders we spend billions researching and treating each year. But the answer I'm thinking of might surprise you, because most of the usual suspects, cancer, heart disease, strokes, have something in common. A single underlying factor that makes each of them much more likely and is arguably responsible for up to two thirds of all deaths worldwide. Our biggest killer is old age. That might sound ridiculous, we tend to think of aging not as a medical condition, but a fact of life, and of the quest for eternal youth as the stuff of myth, fairy tale, or advertising. But perhaps old age isn't as inevitable as we think. Take, for example, Toritopsis dornai, better known as the immortal jellyfish. This tiny tropical sea beast, having progressed through the stages of its life cycle, has the amazing ability to then loop back to the start, resetting its biological clock again and again to become, well, immortal. Among the millions of life forms on Earth, only a handful can do anything like this, and humans aren't one of them. But maybe we can come close, not by replacing our old selves, but by replacing our old cells. Let me explain. Our bodies rely on a process of cell division, in which one cell splits to form two copies, which split into four, and so on. This is how we grow, and how we produce new cells to repair damage to our bodies. But this nifty trick has its limitations, because dividing cells pass on any wear and tear they've picked up. And this gradual degradation is one of the reasons we age. However, not all cells are created equal. Back when a fertilized egg first begins to divide, before it forms the cells of our brain, blood, bones, etc., it forms stem cells, which are special. Because, as well as dividing into copies of themselves, they can also divide into any of the 200 odd kinds of cell needed to build a human. And unlike cells created when normal cells divide, those created by stem cells are brand spanking new, with no signs of aging whatsoever. Unfortunately, over time, our stem cells wear out, so by the time we reach old age, they're in seriously short supply. But if we could somehow get hold of more, we could unlock the ability to create pristine new cells throughout our lives, sidestepping a major factor of the aging process. For a long time, this idea was extremely controversial because the only place to get stem cells was from an embryo, to which many people had understandable objections. But in 2006, Japanese scientist Shinya Yamanaka identified four crucial genes that, when activated, turn ordinary cells back into stem cells, which can then be turned into whatever kind is needed. This technique has already been used to create corneas for partially sighted patients and neurons for people living with Parkinson's. And though these treatments are still in the trial phase, in the future, as we learn more about the complex biology of aging, therapies like this could prove to be a powerful weapon, not just against disease, but against old age itself. In 2012, Yamanaka won the Nobel Prize in Medicine, and he now serves as a senior scientific advisor to Altos Labs, a biotech startup focused on therapies like these. Its backers reportedly include Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, just one of many tech billionaires known to have invested in life extension research. But this lineup of the super rich raises the first of many ethical questions. Yeah. Will radical life extension become a luxury exclusively for the 1%? Even if it doesn't, won't longer lives lead to overpopulation? And more philosophically, if we can live forever, might life become meaningless? These concerns are valid, but it's worth pointing out that they're not entirely new. The pain and indignity suffered in old age has long been a driving force for medical progress, and the result is an average life expectancy which has been increasing globally for nearly two centuries. That's always been seen as progress, and we've shown we can adapt to the changes it brings. Is there any reason adding a few more decades to our lives should be any different? Anti-aging research provokes strong reactions, so we need a well-informed debate about how best to manage its risks and its potential. As revolutionary as all this might sound, it's important to understand that old age isn't a single condition cured with any single treatment. The recent advances in stem cell therapies represent only one aspect of a complex problem that will need a range of solutions and ethical safeguards. But it is clear we're making progress, even though we've barely started giving this issue the attention or the funding its supporters believe it deserves. 
if or when we do that, the rate at which we can push back old age could feasibly overtake the rate at which we grow old, bringing eternal youth out of the realm of fantasy and into the domain of medical science.